Hello everyone, this is Aaron. Welcome back to another video. So this is part two of the file operations feature in EPM data pipeline. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to move files between two different EPM instances. So we're going to look at the upload and download functionality. Um, so just to explain it a bit better, uh, we're going to take a zip file, unzip it, and take that CSV file which is contained in that zip file. That CSV file will get uploaded into a remote EPM instance, uh, to be exact, an FCCS instance. And then we're going to download the same file, which is in the FCCS instance, back into the planning instance. So I can show you both the upload and download file operations. Okay. Hey, if you're new here, uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Arun. I make videos on EPM Cloud, ERP Cloud, integrations, and analytics. If you like these kind of topics, make sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, let's go ahead and create this. So the first thing that you want to do is go into Tools, Connections, and create a connection to the remote EPM instance. So I have created a connection to the FCCS instance. Uh, so this is where I'm going to upload the file from the EPM planning instance, and then we'll go and see um, the data or data file in the FCCS instance. All right, so once you have done that, let's go back into data exchange. So applications data exchange. We're going to create a new data pipeline. So I'm going to create a new one and give it a name file move. So we're going to have file, maybe let's call it a file upload and download file up down. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and save and continue. I'm going to delete all the unnecessary variables and I'm going to create um, my own variables. So the first one is a zip underscore file name. So zip file name. Sequence is one. This is text. Let's go ahead and create two more. So this would be PLN file name. So the file name in the planning application um, csv file name okay one oh, sorry this should be two and this would be text then i would call this fcc file name so what's the file name in the fcc application fcc file name so basically, when I uh, upload the file from planning to FCCS, I have the option to rename the file name. Okay. All right. That is all we need. I'm going to create a new stage. This would be zip. Sorry, unzip. So unzip. All right. Let's create a new job. File operations. This would be local. So this first first thing we're going to do is unzip the file. So this happens in the local EPM instance. File operation is unzip EPM in EPM inbox. Source file name is uh, zip file underscore name and target is you gain EPM inbox. All right. All right, cool. So now we're going to create a download, upload, sorry, upload to FCC. Let's create a job. So this would be file operations and connection. So this is where we're going to use that connection that we set up. We're going to select FCC one. This is the connection to the FCCS instance. Upload CSV file to FCCS. Okay. So file operation would be upload source directory. So this is the source directory in the planning instance. This is an EPM inbox. What's the source file name? PLN file name. So, and target directory is again EPM inbox. And this would be uh, FCC file name. Okay. All right. Next stage, we're going to download Okay. 
All right, so we're going to do is we're going to upload the file into FCCS. We're going to download that file back. It's easy for me to show that. Um, file operations and connection. So again, we're going to connect to the remote instance, get that file, right? So download file from FCC. File operation is download. EPM source directory is EPM inbox, so EPM inbox in FCCS. Um, this is FCC underscore file name and target directory. So let's use inbox and target file name. We're going to keep it the same. All right. So it is as simple as that. Um, we have created the three stages, unzipping the file, uploading the file, uh, uploading the CSV file into FCCS, then downloading the CSV file from FCCS back into the inbox directory and EPM planning instance. All right, so let's see if that works. Now, I'm just going to make sure that I have the zip file uploaded. So let's go ahead and check that out. So I have my zip file uploaded, 101 actual data.zip. All right, so let's go ahead and invoke the data pipeline. All right, I'm just going to show you the FCCS instance as well. So this is the FCCS instance. Last modified, you see that FCCS data actals.zip. I'm just going to delete this. I was testing something before making the video. Making sure everything works before I make the video, hey? Okay, so this is what we are. All right. So this is what we created just now. Let's go ahead and execute the pipeline. So zip file name is um, actuals data.zip. Right? And CSV file name is actuals.csv, right? This is going to be fccs underscore actuals.csv. December 18, Okay, so this is our zip file. Inside the zip file, we have a CSV file, which is actuals.csv. And this is the file name to be used when we upload the file into FCCS and then the same file name we're going to use while downloading it from FCCS and moving it to the data exchange inbox directory in the planning instance. So if everything works, we, if we did everything right, this is going to work flawless. We'll see. Run. Okay. Fingers crossed. You have the status here. Let's see if it's, com it's completed. All right. So first thing I want to do is check the, um, FCCS instance. So let's go into actions in Box on Box Explorer. Uh, and then let's use the last modified. So you can see that the FCC underscore December 18 underscore actuals.csv. So what it did, it let's go back here to the planning instance. Last modified. Okay. So it took the zip file unzipped. Uh, within that zip file, there's an actual stored CSV. So we uploaded the actual stored CSV into FCCS instance. While uploading, we changed the name of the file to um, FCC underscore December 18 underscore actual stored CSV. In the third stage, we were going to download this file from FCCS into the planning instance data exchange in box directory. So let's see if that happened or not. Actions file browser inbox all right so we're gonna go all the way down so you can see that here we have the FCC underscore December 18 underscore actual so CSV we downloaded this from the remote instance into the inbox directory of the planning instance all right so this is as easy as uh, setting up file operations in the EPM data pipeline earlier you would have to have used EPM automate commands Groovy REST APIs uh, to download, upload files, and things like that. But this is all inbuilt in EPM data pipeline. Um, and you saw it, you saw how easy it was to set up. And the best thing is you can use variables. So, you know, you can create one data pipeline, use it for multiple operations. Um, again, past this, uh, very past the file names of variables. And the best thing is you can invoke this data pipeline from Groovy. Right. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a groovy business rule 
to invoke this um, uh, data pipeline using our REST APIs. Hopefully, this was helpful. Um, again, if you have questions, hit me up. Follow me on LinkedIn. I post a lot of useful content on LinkedIn. And, uh, you know, follow me on Twitter. I make, um, you know, I write articles on Medium. So if you want to help me um, and support me, you can also read my articles on Medium. I just get a kickback whenever people read my articles. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm also making a step-by-step -step, uh, guide on the three videos that I'm making. So all of the things that we just saw, file operations, how to create connections, how to create variables, how to create variables in the PM uh, Calc Manager, and also how to create the Groovy Business Rule with explanation. I'll be you know, uploading that soon once I finish my third video. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead. And if I don't make the video before Christmas, Merry Christmas to you all and happy holidays. Peace.